Well, hello, good people. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great day. Cowboys are now in Oxnard. Uh, Jerry Jones should be there, too, now that he's gotten his uh, paternity suit settled and everything else. C.D. Lamb's not there. C.D. is not there, of course. Um, C.D., along with um, Hassan Reddick, are the only two players that are actually holding out of training camp. We have players that are holding in. Jordan Love uh, is not practicing. Um, let's see, who else is holding in and not practicing? Um, there's a couple of players that aren't. Um, Alvin Kamara's actually practicing, but he wants a new contract um, out there. I think there's a total of seven. But be that as it may, here we go. Um, this is for you trolls out there because you you are the ones and the reason why we hear this. And um, I don't know if I can get away with the audio of this from uh, First Things First, but Dak Prescott is the most overrated Cowboy player. And Greg Jennings, oh my goodness, Greg Jennings kind of goes off. And says that Dak Prescott isn't even the best player, offensive player on their team. Let's listen to this. The way the whole year, it's just going up. The team's most overrated player, he got 251 votes, 100 more than Micah. This is also, poor Zeke there, come on guys. Yes. What? Not overrated. Well, by you, he clearly is. Hi, he had a good year for the Patriots. No, there you go. That's so, why your commentary is they, they, your, they Durant, got about 500 might people. Might be a little overrated. Okay. Those pick sixes probably not going to duplicate. I know, but he was hunting. Okay, go ahead. Right. Do you agree, Dak? Most is overrated. overrated. Go ahead, Greg. Sorry. Dak is definitely overrated as, as it pertains to Dallas Cowboys, for sure. If we just look at from the offense, he's not the best offensive player on his own team. That's C.D. Lamb. C.D. Lamb's <laughs> not on there. But I think what when you look at things like this, the Cowboy fan base. Hold on. Is let, let me stop there for a second. I, I, I'm old enough to remember when they said that it's Dak over Dak just that 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 Dak wasn't when it was Zeke. Y'all remember that that Zeke was the most valuable guy on the offense. But go on. It's like. Their executive it offices like it. are. It seems like, like it. If, if you don't have a quarterback that you're saying he is our guy and he is up for a contract extension and you don't extend him because even all this that we're talking about mm -hmm. with CD, what, what's going to come up with Micah, it could be pretty much – it could have been alleviated a little bit if you had one of them signed. Right. Primarily your quarterback right. because that's typically who you sign first. But the fan base knows, like, look – we're done with Dak too, because he's the longest. He's one of the longest tenured Cowboys. So at the quarterback position, where have they struggled in the postseason? Right. At the quarterback yeah, position, yeah. the team has struggled. But primarily, we look at the quarterback of carrying the most weight. Dak Prescott. He can have any. He can have another outstanding regular well, season. Well, that's what's amazing about this conversation is that if you see in small print right above the question is numbers from last year. Wilds, put on your readers and you'll, yeah. you'll see it, but it's 36 yeah, touchdowns, nine there. picks. Um, it, it is, it seems unfair. I don't think it's unfair, but it is crazy how much a difference one single football game made. I'm going to have a count. I'll finish, let you Dak, finish, but then I have a counter. The, Dak had, by any measure, the best season of his career. Mm -hmm. The only one that came close was his rookie year when he was a different type of player but was highly successful and efficient and was awful for three hours on a – I don't know if it was Saturday or Sunday, probably Sunday Cowboys game, Sunday afternoon, January, and now everyone's done with him seemingly. Now, oddly, <laughs> yeah. I actually think when it comes to shows like this, national media, I think Dak is one of the only properly rated quarterbacks in the league. I don't think he's overrated. I don't think he's underrated. I think most people have him Didn't properly Didn't you leave him rated, at your top is, 15? He's obviously good. He's mm -hmm. obviously not great. He, there are 15 teams in the league that would clearly improve at quarterback, at least in the short term. Maybe they have a developmental guy or whatever, mm -hmm. by adding Dak Prescott. But 
it is hard to see him ever cracking consistently that top five that you need to live in once you're paid like that in order to be, as coach would say, a force multiplier. So, like, I think that the most properly rated quarterbacks in football are like Dak, Kirk, Tua. Guys that I think everyone kind of knows where they are. Nobody's like, that guy stinks, he's awful, but also knows, that, okay, so Dak's like around 10, two and Kirk are probably a little bit behind him, and, and th- th- that's where it is. And so okay. I don't think he's underrated or overrated. I think he's properly rated. Okay, here's the nice thing. Here's the cool thing is the internet never forgets because right around – this time a year ago that we got Greg Jennings, and I, I, I'm trying to figure out what, what Greg Jennings has against Dak Prescott, but it's always going to be somebody else other than Dak Prescott. But let's go to the tape. Confident in Daniel Jones is our own Greg Jennings. Greg, do you believe that Daniel Jones is a top 10 quarterback? Of course. No need to speculate. You're going to hear me say it again. <laughs> of course. And again, of course, he is a top 10 quarterback. In the NFC? In the NFL. <laughs> We're talking about the National Football League. The whole league. The entire league. Yeah. Daniel Jones, top 10 quarterback. Okay. I'm going to tell yeah. you why. Please, like, please do. Because... We <laughs> were looking. <laughs> no, there were not six retirements. Oh, boy. There were not six retirements. When you look at the when you look at the New York Giants, the one thing that Daniel Jones does not have that every other quarterback that you probably can name on any list mm-hmm. has is a premier receiving weapon, whether that's at tight end or quarterback. Sure. With yeah. the sure, go ahead. With 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 exception to. The prince that was promised, and now he does have Calvin Calvary Ridley this year. Yeah. But Daniel Jones has never had that. It's always been uh, Saquon Barkley, leading receiver last year in receptions and targets. Who? Saquon Barkley. No other team has to deal with that. He is, he's had three head coaches. He's had three offensive coordinators. Like The revolving door in his building has been so constant. Now we're starting to see, oh, this guy has something. I believe even this year he's going to turn from not just top 10 to elite. Oh, okay. Why? Wow. Because he has, you have your top I 10? do have my top 10. Can, Can we see please see this top 10 Oh, list? get out of here ahead of that. Okay. You can't be. So he has Pat Mahomes, Joe Burrow, Jalen Hurts, Jalen Hurts ahead of Josh Allen, Justin Herbert, Aaron Rodgers, Lamar Jackson, Trevor Lawrence, then Daniel Jones, and then Dak Prescott. So, <laughs> wow. Let, let's listen just for a whoa, bit whoa, more. Whoa, relax. Bro. <laughs> relax. Let, me, let me go through my list. Obviously, Patrick Mahomes in the league. Good don't start. Don't this is crazy. That. Joe Burrow, Jalen Hurts, Josh Allen, uh, Justin Herbert, Aaron Rodgers, Lamar Jackson, Trevor Lawrence. I know low. you don't like that fine, because he's a little low. And Daniel Jones right there at 9. Dak Prescott at 10. Of course, Dak Prescott at 10. Again, when you evaluate these quarterbacks, look at the weapons surrounding Dak Prescott. Look at the ability that he has. What, what, wait, going into last year, what, what he had CeeDee Lamb, who's going in his third year, Brandon Cooks and Michael Gallup, and a second-year tight end. They cut Zeke, and he had Tony Pollard. Are you serious? No, they're not serious. They're really not serious. All righty, good people. As always, I appreciate each and every one of you guys. This shit is crazy out here. It's hard out here.